This video adds additional features to the C file that are presented in the last video. And the features included are things like camera data structures and manipulation of the polygons using controller input. Then if I scroll back down to the set primitives function used in the last video, you'll see that I now call update camera, which is a method I've introduced which reads in controller pad input. When examining the function you could see that if up, down, L1 or R1 is pressed then the camera position adjusts and uh, left and right will adjust the panning of the camera which later sets the angle at which the player is facing and this is reduced as well as sped up here in order to ensure an acceleration and deceleration effect when the player is turning. Now, this is not the approach you would use in conventional first-person shooters because if you look at the camera pan, you'll see that it will adjust the camera pan, but it doesn't modify the, the velocity of the camera position. So even though you're turning, the way that the player will move remains unchanged. And I'll just show you what I mean by that. So if I open up the game, you'll see that I could now move and turn and just move to the side to show you that a bit better but I'm pressing up right now and up and down and when I strafe side to side you see that it strafes as if I'm positioned perfectly in front of the wall this is because it's not adjusting based on the angle at which the player's viewing whilst I'd like to show you that solution I'm afraid I don't have it yet I've not written the code and this is just based on time constraints because I've been very tied down with job interviews and finishing university. But the direction that I can point you to if you're interested is to watch the second video in this playlist and you'll see the trigonometry functions that are used to adjust the player velocity based on the angle they're facing. So just to add some interesting things to this video I should add that in EPSXE if you press delete you'll see in the top left corner the frame rate that's running, so this is a good way to tell if something's causing lag in your game. Next, if I close EPSXC and we look at the code, you'll see in the set primitives function that camera is passed as an argument, and these geometric transformation engine functions are all adjusted to cater to that new data type. I've also introduced apply matrix LV which performs matrix multiplication based on the uninput vector in a matrix provided and then returns this output vector. The one last thing that's worth discussing is something that might cause problems for a few people if unnoticed and it's uh, this. This sets the polygon draw environment to be cleared upon each iteration I guess so you see it's set to 1 right now, but if I set it to 0 and rerun the program, you'll see that where the texture's been isn't cleared when the texture moves the next time. So that's all I've got for this week, but hopefully soon I'll have the, the code figured out and then you'll be able to see how I... Uh, a correct first person shooter camera system works. Thanks again for watching. If you like these videos, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.